a couple of minutes, but you got your first triple double. What's it? Uh, what was that like going through? Though that clearly you were trying to get that that final assist, but um, what's it like to get your first triple double? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm not usually one that tries to like chase stats or whatnot, but I mean I seen that I was one away, uh, realizing I was two away, and um, I mean that's probably why I had those three turnovers there at the end, but. Um, I mean, you can only, I've been close a lot of times, so I was like, I'm going to try to get it this time, and I mean, I just got to shout out to my teammates for real. Uh, we're joking, obviously, you heard the jokes with Peyton, um, him being the guy that, that that got you that last one after Oregon beat Colorado. Um, yeah, it was the least he could do for me. <laughs> do, you, do you want to take this opportunity to uh, let us in on what the, what, was there a wager on this, or? <laughs> uh, on that game, uh, there was there was a couple of dollars exchanged. Um, I, w I was extremely confident going into that game. Um, but it was a it was a a good game. Credit to Oregon, obviously. But like I said, we're both in the tournament, and I think we're gonna make a run here. So let's go, Buffs. Derek, God, uh, in that timeout before you ended up getting the triple double, you were shaking your head. Figure that Joe probably pulled you at that point. What did you say to Joe, or what did he say to you to convince you to stay out there and get that last shot? Uh, I was really just shaking my head because I turned it over uh, those two times, and he was like, "We gotta have like a minute to to get it." So um, went out there and shout out to Peyton for. It. I knew Peyton and Speed they'd they'd figure something out and get a good look, and he knocked it down. Then your whole thing is not stat padding. So how did it feel to be a stat padder for like two minutes there? It was weird. Uh, I didn't like it, and I didn't play too good doing it. So I gotta not do that ever again. Hopefully. Uh, hey Derek, down the stretch here, we, we get these games where some guys are sitting out. You're playing with the different groups. What are you seeing from some of these? I mean, Joe calls them the stay ready group. Um, you know, Jaden Springer coming in, making the extra passes, crashing the glass, Xavier Tillman on the on, you know perimeter defense, like. What are you noticing from some of those guys in the court who you don't usually play with? Yeah, I mean, it's actually those two guys who just got on the team and um, they're trying to figure it all out um, all at once. I mean, X does a great job of switching on to anybody and just moving his feet, keeping guys in front of him. Um, not just today, but he's been doing that for every time he's been in there. And then Jaden just always ready and just, what, two blocks and just flying around out there and um, – I mean, I remember when we played against him in, in the preseason, he was he was playing like that that hard. So it's nice to have him on our team and just the way he competes. But, I mean, everybody on this team works so hard um, with the coaching stats behind the scenes and playing in the, the games on off days and like just staying ready. And um, we got a lot of confidence and, and respect for everybody on this roster. And what are some of your conversations like with those guys? Like, <clears throat> excuse me, what are you telling them? Like the, the new guys, but also like Spie and O'Shea, like, those guys trying to learn what they need to do when they get on the court for these limited minutes, like, what are those conversations like? I mean, first of all, they're just amazing people. Um, O'Shea, I mean, he's probably the first one up every time on the bench and just cheering you on. So um, every time you're in there, you just want them to, to play their game, um, do a, do whatever they do best. And, I mean, obviously, Speed comes in and he makes shots. He, he uh, spaces the floor. and. I mean, just those two guys, because you brought them up, are, are just great, are big for our team. Um, and it's great to see them get minutes and, and help, help us win games. Derek, your reputation is somebody that's professional and likes to give things up for the team. How important is that to you, and how nice is it that your teammates talk about you that way? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. Um, I mean, this is a team game, and um, I just want to go out there and help us win games. Uh, that's really what I'm focused on, and uh, we got amazing guys top to bottom that uh, you want to go out and compete with, that you want to play with, and uh, I'm just thankful and grateful to be part of this organization and, and with this team. Derek, during your uh, during your post game interview, who did you see first coming with the water, and at what point did you notice? <laughs> I seen Luke, and they they did it too early. They hadn't even asked a question yet, so I was still a little bit observant, but. Luke is not the, the sneakiest person in the world, <laughs> <laughs> thankfully. And just as a follow-up, I wanted to ask you, um, what's it like for you playing with Luke and KP out there at the same time? I mean, those are two big dudes, 7-1, seven, 7-2. Seven, 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, a lot of size to start the game, and uh, I don't know how, how much minutes they've played together, but, I mean, that just shows KP's versatility of uh, you can really play him with smalls, you play him with bigs, and uh, you can just do a little bit of everything. And, and Luke is just the constant for us every year, every game, every Every time he's out there, you know what to expect from Luke, and um, he just does so many little things for us to, to help us win games. And so um, I think it, it was a little different having them both out there, and uh, it was it was a, a good lineup for us. You also registered your 5,000th career point tonight. To go from playing collegiately at a place that's never produced an NBA player to where you are now, what are you most proud of about your journey? Huh? I don't know, just there's a lot of hard work. Um, I mean, shout out UCCS for kind of giving me the keys as a freshman. Um, made a lot of mistakes there, which helped me grow and um, learn a lot. So um, I think from that moment when, when they kind of gave me the keys as a freshman, um, allowed me to just continue to gain confidence, learn, grow. And um, I think that's what I'm probably most proud of is I just never stopped learning and growing. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.